I am a pirate and I'm angry. I have my fist raised to the sky. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm a purse. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm a pirate. I don't play with purses. Oh, uh, well, I'm a purse. I don't play with pirates, so there. Ah, but I, I am wearing blue, and gosh, this purse would look very nice on my with my blue outfit. And it's so big that I could ride it like a like a a sailing ship. Ah, I'm a pirate riding a purse. Ah, I believe that I am breaking several gender stereotypes right now, much like me, matey Johnny Depp. Ah. This performance of Masterpiece Pirate Theater has been brought to you by Chapter 2, Culture and Gender. Now it's time to talk about the gender part of the chapter. Now I want to explain, uh, we have uh, uh, this really big confusion in our society about the word gender and confusing it with um, this concept of, of sex. And when I talk about sex, I mean biological sex, not the activity of sex. So stop giggling out there. Um, what we have is uh, this idea, this psychological construct called gender. Gender exists up here. It is not biological. Biologically, we are born male, female, or some other intersex uh, version based on our biological organs, our sex organs. However, not everybody psychologically identifies with the the um, sex they were born with. So they might they might think, ah, I feel like a woman or I feel like a man when they have uh, sex organs of somebody else. And that's where we come up with people who are transsexual, transgendered, um, and so forth. Um, but what really really want to talk about are the three basic genders. We have masculine, feminine, and androgynous. Now, masculine are typically men in our culture. Uh, that means that um, uh, men have masculine qualities, and these qualities include things like being more competitive, being uh, less focused on um, emotional communication. A feminine person, and these are typically women in our culture, uh, are people that are focused uh, less on competition and more on nurturing and more on emotional communication. Uh, a lot of gender is constructed by our society. We see people in gender roles and by how we're raised. So if you were raised to play with purses, you're more likely to be feminine. If you were raised to play with pirates, you're more likely to be masculine. And so how we're raised has a lot to do with gender. Now, gender is an extremely complicated uh, construct, and it's, it's not an easy conversation to have because it's confusing. We think men are masculine, women are feminine. But then we have some people that are more androgynous. They fall in the middle of everything. Uh, for example, I would consider myself a little bit androgynous. I am pretty competitive. I'm actually very, very, very competitive. But I tend to uh, communicate on a more emotional level. And I like things that a lot of men don't like. For example, I like the TV show Glee. I like musicals. Um, those are things that most men, most masculine men, don't like. Um, and, and in fact, sometimes we confuse gender with sexuality, and we assume anybody who has feminine qualities that's a man must be gay, and any woman that has masculine qualities must be a lesbian. And that's the case, that in fact, that's not true. Gender and sexuality are very different. Now, sometimes that is the case, that gay men are more feminine and, and gay women are more masculine, but that's not 100% of the time. I am one of those um, uh, straight men who are rather feminine. I'm even married to a woman. So as you can see, um, that doesn't follow true all the time. So we need to re remember to separate sexuality from gender. So um, when you let your kids play with whatever toys they play with, just be aware that you that you might be creating a more masculine or feminine child. That's not necessarily a bad thing because um, often we are obsessed with making sure our children are gender appropriate. But in reality, children should be whoever they want to be and develop how they need to develop. And hopefully, um, you know, that's my little lesson of the day for you. So just to recap, there are three gender identifications: masculine, feminine, and androgynous. Um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. 
make sure you make sure you understand that gender is different than sex and that is also different than sexuality so that we understand that sexuality is a sexual preference sex is a biological distinction and gender is a psychological construct so make sure you understand those three things as well um, have a great day everybody and I will see you on the internet